Hi guys, welcome back to Jay's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a recipe on how to make fish in soy sauce. So basically there's two uh, stages on this. The first is we'll be frying the fish lightly on both sides uh, before we're actually going to make the soy sauce uh, sauce. So first I'm going to show you what are the ingredients that we need for the first stage which is uh, light frying the fish. So let's see. So basically for the first stage, of course we need the fish, which I'm going to be um, uh, cleaning it in a while. And then we need our turmeric and our salt, which we are going to marinate the chicken with, and also oil for uh, light frying the fish. So right now I'm going to clean the fish and I'm going to marinate with the turmeric and also the salt. And then we are going to light fry the fish on both sides. Here I already have my fish marinated cleaned marinated with turmeric and salt and i have two uh, deep cuts in it so that the marination will go in and the fish will be really tasty so right now i'm going to i'm heating up my uh, pot of oil so once it really heats up we're going to light fry the fish on both sides so my oil is uh, heated up enough so it's hot and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to slowly add in the fish slowly so it doesn't uh, splatter all over so and we're going to allow the fish to cook on each side for about five minutes uh, each so we're going to fry it and then we're going to do the sauce at the next stage so the fish is done frying on both sides so i'm going to remove the fish and i'm going to start preparing for the um, soy sauce uh, mixture. So I'm going to remove the fish from the oil right now and drain it on a kitchen towel so that uh, it will remove the excess oil. This is my fish now that's already been fried. It's been beautifully fried, five minutes on each side. So now I'm um, leaving it on a kitchen uh, paper towel so to allow the excess oil to drip off. So now I'm going to be preparing uh, the ingredients we need to make the sauce mixture. So here we have the ingredients to make our uh, soy sauce. So in here I have my um, cilantro, uh, which we will need for garnishing. And then we have our sugar, our salt, oyster sauce, uh, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, um, sesame, uh, sesame oil, uh, black pepper, our spring onions, our garlic, ginger, cornstarch, and a little bit of oil we will need to make the soy sauce. So let me gather the ingredients and then I'm going to show you on how to make the sauce. So I've prepared the ingredients uh, for the sauce. As you can see here, I have three tablespoons of oil. So here I'm using canola oil, just a regular oil. And then uh, I have about a pinch of salt, uh, about half tables, half a teaspoon of black pepper, about half a teaspoon of sugar, and half a teaspoon of cornstarch. And here I'm going to be adding uh, one tablespoon of oysters, uh, sorry, one tablespoon of uh, light soya sauce, one tablespoon, and one tablespoon of dark soya sauce, and about half a tablespoon of oyster sauce, and another half tablespoon of uh, sesame oil. So, and here I have roughly about two tablespoons of uh, ginger that I've uh, cut into julienne, and also garlic, which I've actually minced it. Uh, probably about uh, four to five cloves. I've minced the garlic and I've slivered the um, julienne, the uh, ginger. So let me add in the uh, sauces and then uh, we'll go right next to that. So here I've actually added all the sauces together with my uh, canola oil. And I'm going to add in also the uh, ginger and garlic also to this. And also the uh, powdered ingredients. And I'm going to give it a nice mix to make sure that everything is mixed together. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to heat up a pan and we're going to cook this mixture a little bit before we pour it uh, over the fish. So the pan is already heated and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this mixture together and give it a mix can even add a little bit of water 
so it doesn't stick together so now I have the heat on low so you can add in as much as water as you want just to make sure I'm adding in a little bit of extra water so it'll take some time to uh, cook and make sure that you put the heat on low so the um, sauce doesn't actually stick to the pan okay, and I'm just going to let it uh, shimmer a little bit just let it cook and shimmer and if you need to uh, go a little bit lower on the heat you can do so so just let it uh, cook maybe for about a minute or two just let it simmer a little bit on the heat and then you can remove it so as you can see uh, my mixture is becoming thicker it's because of the cornstarch so I think we're almost good and it's done we can actually pour it into the um, fish on the fish and let the heat cook the fish a little bit more and let the um, uh, soya sauce uh, mixture penetrate the fish and in, uh, into the flesh so I have the fish here so at the moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to be spooning the mixture first before I pour just to make sure that just to make sure that everything has got the uh, sauce over it You want to make sure that the whole fish has got the uh, sauce on top of it. And then you can actually pour the rest of it over. So here, I actually have my uh, cilantro and also my spring onions. You can always uh, drizzle and arrange some spring onions right on top of the fish. Just a little bit here and there. And then you can add your cilantro too on top of it. So we are done with our fish and soy sauce. This is it. Thank you so much for joining me today uh, in seeing me share my recipe of fish and soy sauce. So you can always adjust uh, the measurements according to what you would prefer like you can always lessen the sauces and make it very thin or you can always add in a bit extra i always prefer to add in a little bit extra and make it real thick you can even eat it with the hot white rice or you can just eat it like that just plain fish and all so if you like my video today if you like the way i've made the uh, fish and soy sauce please give me a thumbs up like my video and then don't forget to share among your friends on your social media and also if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel rainbows and butterflies forever please do so by clicking the subscribe button that's below this video and subscribe to my youtube channel rainbows and butterflies forever for more latest update don't forget to hit the bell thank you so much till i see you in my next video